Hey, my name is Pat, and I'll be guiding you through downloading and installing a theme on your digital dash. Okay, let's prepare the dash so we can transfer over files over Wi-Fi. To set this up, we're going to swipe all the way over to the right-hand side to our main menu page, and we're going to hit the Network tab. It'll take a second. If you look at the bottom, you'll see that our WLAN or Wireless LAN local area network is not connected. Let's get that connected. First, depending on where you are, let's select your country. I'm in the United States. Then we're going to scan the Wi-Fi, give it a few seconds. Once the icon goes back to white. And now we're going to see our listed Wi-Fi connections in our area. I'm going to choose the first one because that's mine. And we're going to go down and the passphrase, we're going to put in our password. Okay, now that the password is there, we're going to connect Wi-Fi. Okay, now that it's restarted, go back to network, and we can see that our connection is green, meaning that we have an address and it's connected to our Wi-Fi. To transfer files from your computer to the dash, you're going to need a file transfer protocol or an FTP program. We're going to use FileZilla. This works on both Mac and PC. The download link is in the description. Once you have FileZilla open, let's connect to our digital dash. Click the connect icon on the top left corner and the site manager window will pop up. Under the general tab, let's change the protocol to SSH and the host will then be the number that is your YLAN IP address. There's no port, the logon type you want to change to ask for password and the user is root. No password for now. Then click connect. It's going to ask for a password. You're going to leave it empty. Then check the remember password until FileZilla is closed. This will make it easier to connect and reconnect over and over again without having to ask for password again and set up a new site. Click OK. Always trust this host and add this key to the cache. Check that box and OK. Now we are inside the dash. If you don't see the rest of the directory populate, just click back to where these folders are with the question marks and they'll pop up. We want to work our way into the Pi folder. In the Pi folder, you'll find two main folders, which is what we'll be working in, logo and user dashboards. The logo will contain all the images you'll be using for your dashes and themes, and the user dashboards will contain all the text files, which are the configurations for the themes. Let's install a theme. Once you extract your theme from the zip folder, I use 7-zip, you can use WinZip, you should find two folders, one logos, one user dashboards. Logos contains all the images and the files you'll be using for your theme. And user dashboards consist the text file that'll be configuring your theme and all the gauges and parameters. We're going to transfer all the images in the logos folder into this logos folder. As you can see, you already have them here, but for the sake of this video, let's delete them and start over. Everything in the logos was drag and drop. Everything in the user dashboards folder right here. Let's also go to user dashboards here and drag and drop. Okay, to change your splash screen from this image to something more custom like this image, it's as easy as one, two, three. We just have to go into our logo folder, find the logo file right here, delete this, then transfer over the logo image from here over into there. Now, once it's here, make sure you rename that to logo.png. Here I have a one because I have many splash screen files. So I'm going to change that to just logo. Once it loads back into the dash, it'll pop up just right. Once your theme is loaded, you can swipe on an empty dash and double tap the screen. Then tap import. Tap the drop down list and select your theme. For us, it's the Corsa Dash. Then tap load. There you have it. Now don't forget to double tap the screen and tap save. That way when you turn the dash back on again, it immediately goes back to the same screen and you will not have to re-import a new theme again. You now have a custom theme installed on your dash. On the next episode, I'll be showing you how you can manipulate and customize custom themes and change some of the metrics and parameters.